Deep H. Kaur, representing Haryana. And today, my topic is millets, a superfood or a diet fair. As we know that India declared 2018 as the National Year of Millets, and millets were rebranded as the Nutri Cereals in that year. Then, India had proposed United Nations to declare 2023 as the International Year of Millets. The proposal of India was supported by 72 countries and United Nations declared 2023 as the International Year of Millets. This initiative aim is to raise their awareness and to promote their consumption worldwide. Now, the question is, what are millets? Millets are a group of small city grasses that have been cultivated for thousands of the years. They are hardy crops that can grow in arid and marginal lands requiring less water and fertilizers than other staple grains. This makes them an ideal crop for the small-scale farmers, especially in those areas affected by land degradation and water scarcity. Let us know the types of the millets. According to Food Safety and Standards Authority of India, Millets are classified into major millets and minor millets based on their grain size. Soil food, bar millet, finger millet are the major millets. Foxy millet, little millet, bar millet, kodo millet, proso millet are the minor millets. There is another class of the millets also, the pseudo millets, which are nutritionally similar and must be acknowledged as valuable in this context. Today's generation think that millets are new, but no, millets are old grains. There are several evidences of the consumption of millets during, during Indus Valley civilization. Now, we can imagine that how old are the millets. Let us know the health benefits of the millets. There must be a question in your mind that why millets are called the nutri cereals. Why? They branded as the nutri cereals. Well, millets have earned the reputation of being a nutri cereals as they provide most of the nutrients essential for the functioning of the human body. The protein, vitamin, minerals that millets provides makes them a superfood. They are naturally gluten free, making it a better option for the people with gluten intolerance. For example, Pearl millet is rich in iron, magnesium and zinc and is used for making porridges and flat breads in Africa, India. It keeps the heart healthy and controls the weight. Sorghum is rich in antioxidants and dietary fiber. It also contains the goodness of iron that is important for the immunity. It lowers down the bad cholesterol level of our blood. Finger millet, also known as ragi, is rich in calcium and antioxidants. It is widely consumed in southern India and East Africa for making snacks and porridges. Despite millet's many health benefits, millets have also some drawbacks. Let us know the drawbacks of the millets. Millets contain anti-nutrients that may reduce or block the body's absorption of other nutrients and that may also lead to deficiencies. Millets contain glycogens that may interfere with the body's absorption of iodine. So, there is a need to consume millets in appropriate amount. As we have seen that millets have many health benefits, but despite this, millets are facing some of the challenges. Let us know those challenges. Low productivity. The production of millets per hectare is less than the production of wheat and rice per hectare. That's why farmers are not showing much enthusiasm in cultivating millets. Receive the taste. Many people believe that millets have bland or unpleasant taste. That's why they are not consuming the millets. Lack of awareness. Many people aware about the health benefits of the millets. That's why they are also not consuming the millets. High cost of millets. Millets are often produced higher than other cereal grains. This makes them less accessible for the poor consumers. Some state governments are including millets in PDS so that the poor people can easily assess it. Despite millets' many health benefits, 
millets have been largely neglected in big cities and food systems. This International Year of Millets seeks to change this by promoting millets as a nutritious and sustainable food choice for all. According to you, millets are superfood and not a diet fad. Thank you.